Next up, we have our Leading from the Front segment where we chat to a young sporting personality making a difference in the community. This week, it's Joy Mangalo. Joy Mongalo is the Golden Lions defensive coach for the under-19, under-21 and Vodacom Cup teams. As a young, up-and-coming coach, he is a role model for aspiring athletes. The role that schools played in my life, I just want to mention two schools. My primary school, Thornhill Primary. There's a man there called Marius van Heerden who introduced me to sport at a young age. Um, sports is not really synonymous with somebody who's from an uh, informal settlement. So things like cricket and rugby, the sports that I took to. And then Pretoria Boys High, our motto is to see how we learn to live. So at that school, I just learned to grow from a young man into a man. So those two played a very big part in my, in my growth into who I am right now. In my career at the Lions as coaching, I believe there's two games that stick out particularly. In my first year in 2011, we played with under 19s and under 19 Curry Cup final which we won against the Bulls at Loftus. Um, that score was 2019 to us, so that was massive for me, the first trophy I won at the Lions. And last year, 2013, we played in under 21 semi-final versus Western Province. I strive to instill the players the same qualities I want to instill in myself. I believe a lot in hard work, I believe in discipline, and the last one, I believe in faith. So faith for me, whatever somebody believes in, is the basis of what I do. Then I think you need clearly defined goals, and not just that, but the process to get to the goal. So often people focus hard on the goal, like we must win, but the question is how are you gonna win? So the processes for me are very important. Joey married Zinzi Mgadi in December 2013. We met um, through a friend. Um, our friend was having a uh, get together. And so she invited me and invited him as well. And we met there and then afterwards we just started getting to know each other and realizing that we actually had a lot of mutual friends and we didn't even know. Normally I hear the songs and I like the beat but I can't hear the lyrics so I listen to everything really. Um, my wife's had good influence on me. Um, she brings a bit of Bruno Mars to the table and things like that. It's important um, for us to believe in the same thing um, so that we can steer our relationship in the same direction. I love to go home, um, sit on a couch or a beanbag now. My wife and I don't have couches yet. Um, and we just sit there, just chat to each other, catch up on the day. So it's a good place for me to go back to, to just go sit with her and just hear how day was and share with her my day. So the same values that he has, I share the same faith. And yeah, most of the time I just apply those same principles from our faith to just try to help him be the best version of himself. But what does a full-time coach do when he's not on the field? Sometimes we have a half day, which means we we'll finish training by 11 o'clock. Then I love to take those golf clubs out in the back of my boot, um, go and play nine holes of golf that I enjoy. He doesn't stop coaching when he gets off the field. So what I do as well to keep growing myself as a coach, I try to coach at school. There's under 14 and 15 players. So what I naturally do as a perfectionist, I try to instill on them the same principles as what I expect from these guys who are professional rugby players. But then she always grounds me and says, hey, listen, these guys are only 14 years old. They're trying to enjoy the job. So that's one of the biggest things that she does. She brings me, helps me to get the professionalism, but also the enjoyment factor in what I do. So whenever I have a good time and I enjoy the game, I always think about that. She, that's her influence. Yeah, and that was something that was very attractive to me, someone who's interested in growing people on and off the field. So what does the future hold for Joey Mongalo? In five years' time, I'll be 34. Um, if I keep growing along the curve that I'm going now, I'd love to be a defence coach at the Golden Lions Rugby Union for Super Rugby. If not that, at another unit if opportunity arises. Um, and I think, yeah, that's what I'd like to be. If that's not happening at that age, I would have probably counted my loss with rugby and maybe gone to a school to go look to be a director of rugby, director of sport. And by then, hopefully, since he said yes, that we can have children and we can raise them in that stable environment.